We always push the envelope to get quality hay. So that's what we're concerned about, get the leaves. That's where the value is, is in the leaves. When you don't have doing alfalfa, then all the leaves just shatter and they just fall off. With the steamer, I mean, you can just fine tune it. I mean, if, if you're a little dry, just add a little more steam. The value in the hay is in the leaves. If the leaves fall off while you're baling it, then your value goes way down. The dairyman wanted to buy my hay because the leaves were on the stem. It wasn't hard for the other farmers to see the brokers come over and say, I'll give you $5 or $10 more a ton for your hay than them, and they'd find out about it, and they'd say, well, buy a steamer. The more leaves you can keep in the hay, then the better the quality of hay will be, better nutritional value it'll have. It softened the hay instead of making it crispy, and it kept all the leaves on. It was taking bad hay and turning it into a higher quality hay. I had one buyer come in and talking to us, and he says, well, I'll offer you five bucks more than I offered your neighbor because it is steamed hay and because of the consistency. Anybody that's belled hay and says they haven't put up hay too dry hasn't belled enough hay. You just bale hay too dry sometimes because you gotta catch up. We didn't do it one time last year. Not once did we do that. We belled hay with moisture every time because we turned the steam. It's sure nice to cut a bell open and see the leaves inside instead of going, oh wow, we shattered all these leaves, all we got is stems now. All the leaves on the stem there, I mean, it's so much nicer to see that.